Hey guys, Prakash from Tools and Tools here. So in my last video, I explained a few features of the Duke 2 under that you probably didn't know. And in that video, a lot of people have asked me on how to convert the 16-pin uh, ELM327 to a 4-pin one to fit your Duke. So in this video, I'm gonna tell you just how to do that. So let's get to it, shall we? So for those who already didn't know, KTM has an electronically engine, fuel injected engine and that means it has an ECU and this ECU is uh, OBD2 compatible. OBD2 means that uh, there is an onboard diagnostic port on the vehicle that you could use to connect to the ECU to diagnose engine error and we are going to use this OBD2 port to connect uh, our Android phone to the ECU. And to connect to the OBD2 port you will need uh, an ELM327 adapter. That is something I have here. You could buy this off Amazon or eBay for around 500 bucks. I'll put down the link in the description below. Just check it out. So a standard OBD2 connector has uh, 16 pins. These are usually designed for cars and in fact all cars post 2011 in India are mandated to be OBD2 compatible. Now to convert this to a to a 4 pin connection you will need an understanding of how data communication works and I am going to simplify it for you uh, you need just 2 pins for power and 2 pins to communicate the data so you will need to find the corresponding pins here this OBD2 port uh, works with CAMP protocol that is closed area network and closed area network is used to communicate between various devices or sensors within a closed network as the name suggests uh, here the closed network means that the EC communicates with the various sensors on board. So this is the pin configuration of an OBD2 female connector. This basically shows what pin does what. Now we are gonna find the 4 pins that we need. Since the OBD2 port works on the CAN protocol, we will take the CAN plus and CAN minus, that is pin 6 and pin 14. And for the power, we'll take pin 16 battery power and pin 4 and 5 would be ground, that is negative. The bigger side is the top, top row and the, the smaller side is the bottom row. Both have same number of pins, so the shape is given to not confuse you. Here the pins 4 and 5 are ground. Pin 3 is CAN plus, if you come below, pin 1 here is plus 12 volt and pin 3 here is CAN negative. So you have to connect these corresponding pins to the KTM OBD2 port. Just a little note, the pin numbers I just said are not from the pin configuration diagram but from my point of view. So the KTM OBD2 port under your rear pillion seat will have 6 terminals of which only 4 will be connected to wires so we need to connect the 4 pins that we just described to the 4 pins, four corresponding pins here the row with 3 wires connecting is the top row it is also identified by a small ridge at the top so here the black wire is ground the brown wire is plus 12 volt. Now the yellow and the blue pins from the KTM OBD2 port are CAN negative and CAN positive respectively. Connecting the corresponding pins, black to ground and red to brown. The blue CAN negative is connected to yellow and the green CAN positive is connected to blue. If I am anyway confusing you here, just remember what ports are where in both the connectors and connect them correspondingly. I'll go through the connections once again. Ground, CAN negative, CAN positive and we're plus 12 volt. Now after you given the connections, just open the tar cap that is downloaded from the play store. And in vehicle profile, you can set the profile for the vehicle, whatever vehicle you own. 
uh, you will just enter the name, the engine capacity, the weight etc. and just save it at last. Then in settings, you will essentially set what mode of connection you are going to use for the OBD2 connector. You will just select the Bluetooth connection and select the OBD2 port that is available. Make sure your Bluetooth is on and switch on your ignition key so that the OBD2 connector will get the power. Announce all the blinking except the GPS stops, then that means that you have successfully paired with the adapter. In the app, under the real-time information, you can view various information about the engine such as throttle percentage, vacuum pressure, coolant temperature, accelerometer reading, etc. The RPM data alone is blocked for some reason. So that's it guys, that's how you connect your ELM327 to your Duke 200. I guess this video clarified your doubts. If you have any queries, please feel free to comment below and I'll be happy to answer. And have a nice time. Bye bye.